Let us try to sketch a polynomial function from given description. Question here is, draw a graph of polynomial function that satisfies all the following characteristics. The first one is f of minus 4 equals to 12, f of 4 equals to 0, and f of minus 1 equals to 0. So we are given some points on the graph of polynomial function. And then we have f of x is greater than or equal to 0 when x is less than 4. And f of x is less than or equal to 0 when x is greater than 4. So the greater than or equal to 0 means the function is positive and f of x less than or equal to 0 means function is negative. And the last one is that the y-intercept is 3. So I'd like you to pause the video, sketch a graph of a polynomial function which fits into these characteristics and then look into my suggestions. Okay. Now, to sketch a graph, what we should do is we should analyze uh, the parameters given to us, right? That is the best way. Let's say this is our coordinate plane. So what we are given here is value of fu function at few points. f of minus 4 is 12. So let us say 1, 2, 3, 4. This is minus 4 and I'm saying minus 4 it is 12. Let this be the point 12 f of 4 is 0. That means on the right side we have 0 here. Okay. And f of minus 1 is also 0. So that means this is also 0. So these are the three points given to us. So we got these three points. Okay. So this is 4 for us. The next criteria which is given to us is f of x is greater than or equal to 0. That means positive when x is less than 4. That is to say that if you are on this side then the function is positive, right? So we are on above the x-axis. So it is positive on this side. But it is less than 0 when you are when the x value is greater than 4. So that is what it is. Okay. So this is our condition. I've just drawn a line here to show that I have to incorporate this condition. When I sketch polynomial function. And the last one is given to us as y-intercept and this is the y-intercept of 3. So let us say that this is somewhere here which is y-intercept of 3. Now how to sketch this kind of a graph? Now as you can see we could sketch many graphs which will fit into this criteria. Polynomial functions are continuous, smooth curves, without any cusp and corner. So those are a few basic things which we should consider. Since the function is positive here, right, it could be zero also. We are already given two zeros and negative here. That means the end behavior is kind of going downwards here and upwards there. So we can just connect these points with a smooth graph like this, right? For example, that could give us a polynomial function right so that could be one of the solutions of this polynomial function right you could draw many other solutions you could you know go through it and you know you can just bend anywhere and then then graph it correct but that's probably a very simple solution to this problem the idea here is to understand how to show the conditions and help you sketch a function which fits into right so I think this guideline which I've shown you here in green is kind of important step which helps you to visualize that you have to keep the part which is left side of 4 as non-negative and on the right side of 4 as negative and that really helps us to connect the points and sketch the polynomial I hope you appreciate it I'm Anil Kumar you can subscribe to my videos and look into more simple examples to understand the great concept about polynomial functions. Thank you and all the best.